Every engineering drawing starts with a format. It's not only just about the aesthetics, it is also about precision and professionalism. A well-configured format gathers all necessary essential details about your projects, making your workflow smoother and your design stand out. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Engineering Preetam. In this video, we will talk about how we can create format like this with a lot of of automated values as you can see here in case of part name with ptc Curio parametric so without further ado let's get started okay so here you can see i already have opened one such format that i have created in past for a3 and let me also show you one such another format that i have created in portrait and this one actually with a4 size here you can also see other information for example title block surface roughness hardness surface treatment material part name the projection type and so on i would say it is totally up to us the kind of format we would like to create so in this video we will see how we can create this kind of format and if you also want to use this specific format then i'm gonna also attach the download link in the description of this video now let me actually start from the scratch for that let me quickly close all these formats after closing everything let's click here on it is not displayed and now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click here on new and then here you will find all these options now here what we need to do is uh, we need to select format instead of drawing and the reason behind is we would like to create format that we will be using behind the drawing now here you can give your format a name i'm gonna keep it as it is for simplicity and then here you need to select your format size so let's say let's go with a3 and then from here you can choose the orientation type you also have option to keep it variable but here i'm gonna keep it landscape now let's hit ok and there we go now here we have got this blank canva where we can create our own custom format now before actually i start creating this format let me show you the easiest method to create your format let's say your company is using other software for example autocad or any other 3d parametric software you can actually easily import your format directly here in ptc Curio parametric let's click here on import drawing data and now what here we need to do is um here in desktop i have actually created one such file a3 in dxf in autocad now here i'm gonna select the same uh format format that we are utilizing in AutoCAD and let's click on import now here we need to keep all these settings as it is and let's click ok and there we go guys here we can see uh, we are directly importing this format and here we need to move the bottom left corner of the drawing to the screen origin which is this one so let's click on yes and there we go this is one of the easiest method of importing existing format from let's say Autodesk to Creo Parametric after import your format all you need to do is you can enter variable that will place dynamic values for example here model name here i can put date for that let's go here on the table and let's click here and add one by one table now here i need to manage its height and width let's actually increase the height and width of column i'm gonna make the column width as 10 and height as 4 and let's actually have a look on preview this looks quite decent uh, but still i would like to further increase it so i can actually uh, increase the width by 11 and height by 18 now um, you can basically adjust based on your need i'm gonna keep it here now here again uh, what next i'm gonna do is i am going to type it inside so here also i can actually adjust my font height and font type as well now here i'm gonna again type the variable which is and then date in that too also i can uh, zoom in and here also i can change its font to this one now seems like this looks good next time whenever i'm gonna use this format i will be getting date directly here so that i do not need to type manually now in this way guys your format is ready to be utilized now let's talk about how to create these formats from scratch for that let me quickly close this format 
now i'm gonna do it is now displayed and let's click again on new and then again let's select format again i'm gonna select the same size and same orientation and now let's click ok now here what i can do is i can utilize actually table to create my title view i can actually place it here now what here i'm gonna do is i am going to again increase the size of this table for that let's actually select the table and then make a right click now again i'm gonna select the same height and width and then uh, let's adjust height make it 10 which seems like pretty high let's make it 4 or even 3 probably and then let's make it 5 or maybe 7 okay seems like good enough now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna place it here okay so in this way guys we can add these tables but let me also add one more table which will create boundary across this canvas for that uh, let's again uh, go to table let's only choose one table now after again let's make a right click and then uh, height and width here also since this is a3 let's make the width as 287 the original width of a3 is 297 and here also i'm gonna make it 100 and there we go now i can actually mark it as boundary for this layout in case of this title block i can actually place it here inside this rectangle now in this way guys we can actually create the whole format inside ptc crew parametric and obviously we can write here as well now let's talk about how we can add text here for example here i would like to write something for that let's click here on annotate and then here we have got this note we need to use this unattached note now i'm gonna place it here and then i can write for example third angle projection maybe you may not able to see what i wrote so let me zoom it in and seems like i also made a mistake here let's also select the text and then uh, i'm gonna increase height by 1 mm now seems like it still is not big enough let's make it two and now i'm also going to change the font style from font to shannon now it looks like decent now sometime what happened that we also require to write the text in a vertical way in that case what we can do is um, let me actually put it uh, to this left hand side and let me quickly show you how this look in order to make it vertical uh, here you can see this drag handle simply grab that drag handle and then um, in this way guys we can rotate our text in the direction we want not only we can write text here let's say you also would like to add a logo for example let me add uh, one of my logo here for that let me actually go here on layout and here we have got this object let's click on it and now here we need to select for example i can find ms paint document which is this one paint brush picture let's open it up which will basically open microsoft paint now here you can actually add your thumbnail here you can see my logo of engineering preterm let's make a right click and then uh, again i'm gonna open it with paint so that i can easily copy and paste it now simply i'm gonna press ctrl and a ctrl and c and now here i can do ctrl and v now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close this and there we go yeah i can see my logo now appeared here let's again uh go back here and we can select our logo and also we can reduce the size of it but before that let me place it here now i can actually grab it from the side and in this way i can actually make it small and likewise guys we can add any kind of logo or image in our drawing format now let's talk about some of automated value that you can receive in your drawing format so starting with date um let me actually add date here in this table and uh seems like both these are kind of interfering each other so what here i can do is i can actually uh hold this and place it upward for the moment and let's say i would like to add date here and there we go what i did here is i put the following which is and and date similarly i can add a time you know adding it to see how all these value come up and sheet number similarly a revision then part material and so on you can also create your own custom parameter which we can talk about in our next video but for the time being let me actually select all these cells 
and let's go here in format and change the font style to Shannon and what also I would like to do here is I would like to increase the height to 1 and there we go apart from you can put these values inside table we can also do table customization for example let's add a column below this shell for that I can click on add column and then I can select here similarly in case of row I can click on add row and can select the row below or above i would like to add row and in this way guys we will able to add row as well then here we have got furthermore customization for example to merge certain cell you can do that by by pressing control and selecting the cell that i would like to merge then i can click on merge cell and in this way guys we can able to merge cell and in similar way i also can unmerge them back so in this way guys we can also customize this table now since format will take long long time to create and i do not want to make this video too long or monotonous what you can do is using these basics you can create your own custom format and as i said if you want these format then please check the video description where i have kept these format from there you can download these one now um let me again go back here and uh to frm001 and let's save this format okay uh here in the desktop so now what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to select this format and let's see how these values come up with so let me click here view close close and then erase not displayed probably now i'm gonna open one of my assembly and actually i can open any of the part within this assembly let's open this base plate itself and now uh, what i will do is i will click here on new and this time what i will do is i will select the created format so um here what i did is i checked drawing and then i can give my drawing file a name and then here i have unchecked everything and let's click ok now here i'm gonna choose empty with format and now from here i can select the format so this format i have saved here in my desktop now i can click on open and then again open and here you can see it is asking us to provide the parameter which is date these are the parameter which i ask creo to our designer whenever we start new drafting i can provide date for example today is 7th july 2024 and time let's say is 12 pm and then seat number is first actually this one we can derive another way as well part number also i can add uh, p101 for example and then uh, material i can add uh, mild steel and there we go here you can see the format that we have created and we already have added these values although this look quite immature but um let me actually you know use another format uh, which is ready to be used let me again uh, uncheck this use default format and this time i'm gonna use the format that i have created that are already ready to be used this one probably a4 and there we have it so here you can see the date is also automated uh, not the one that i am providing you can see the part name is also being added automatically uh here i can you know add general view and then i can also place other view as well so in this way guys uh you know you can utilize format and can make your drawing look professional one last bonus tip i would like to give you uh before that let me showcase the problem that you may face let's say i am saving this data in my desktop okay and then let's close this one as well now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna do it is not displayed and now if i directly try to open this dwg um here it shows that you know we need to open the part model first since creo parametric follow model centric approach which means that all the information is being driven from model so now probably i can open this drw and the issue here we saw is you know the format is missing so how we can avoid this kind of situation this kind of situation we can avoid by specifying where is our format directory in a drawing configuration file so for that we can go here in file and then option and then configuration editor here we need to click on add and then we need to locate following setting which is pro and then underscore and format and dir which is format directory and now here i can specify 
specify it is in my c drive and then i have created a folder named creo standard inside this is format so let's click ok here and again ok uh i actually forget to save this configuration file so let me also do that uh i'm gonna save it probably uh, in my document now if i again open this x y assembly and now this diw and this time here you can see my format loaded with the drawing without any issue so in this way guys we have also fixed the issue of let's say format you need to manually bring or load every time you load your drawing that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such tips and tricks and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye